Good afternoon, everyone. Now, I'm not going to be taking too much time at all with this, okay? Um, because I really, really want you all to have a nice afternoon and the opportunities to get outside. And I do, I really don't want to waste the weather and waste all of your time. Because uh, it is a gorgeous day. It's beautifully sunny and temperate weather. So, this, I'm going to make this very, very quickly. Because, um... Jill is our new admitting guest, our third advanced mom, and your picture is hung up over there. Yes, yep, it is definitely a pleasure having you here. Um, oh, uh, on the house tour and going over, that'll be in a couple of days' time. That'll be two to three days. Um, so, a couple of things I just want to talk about, first of all is that the song that I was playing as you were coming in is the only song that I have in mind for now for the concert. And I'm going to have to think of some other songs or try to find some other songs that would really honor and really um, represent our Minton guest. And we're going to learn that song a little bit later. Maybe tomorrow we'll get into it. But um, the title of the song is We Go On. And um, Jill was sitting in the audience of Season 7 of Dance Moms, Episode 2. Uh, as a group dance, that was what they were doing. Now, um, can you remember that occasion? Okay, good. Yeah, and I did put on my little, you know, because what I do is on my website, I have, you go to the Menton website, and you go to all the different Lebembis or Menton leaders, you click on my page, okay, and then you go on your, your name and your custom, and then you, I have a lot of tabs, and this is how we do things now. It's all electronic. We used to not do things this way, but now we have an extension. So one of those tabs is called We Go On, um, or Your Concert. And that song really holds a powerful message, um, and it's just a very, very touching and very moving song. I'm not going to find it. And I think that all of you will be... And really touch and move yourselves when we hear this song, especially what's going on with the quarantine and the COVID stuff going on. I think that will hold a very, very powerful meaning and uh, a message for you. Um, so that is something that we're going to uh, be getting into. But I don't want to do it today because... Um, I don't want to waste the time and the weather. So, a couple of things that I just want to talk about real quickly. Now, um, the clevises, I'm going to be postponing it unless, of course, you want to do it outside. Something that I'll probably do is maybe a little bit later we can meet outside in the backyard and I can do the weeding for you, then we can go over the sections, because it is tour season, and the moon is in Sagittarius, and so, um, after that, all of the Amenton will be coming here, okay, and maybe we'll even do it outside, we might even do it outside, but we're going to be coming either here or outside, depending on what the weather is, if it's beautiful, then I'll have you work outside, Okay, and what we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to have you work on your show-and-tell project. Okay, and that's the written portion. And um, I just, um, yeah, I, I mean, you weren't here for that. You said that you personally wanted to do this. So I didn't want to push you anything. If you, um, if you don't want to do it, then you don't need to do it. But basically... This is not only what this mention is doing, all of the, um, all of the, you know, estudiantes and the, uh, the staff is doing it, but additionally, all of the mentions are going astrological now. The, um, the raising, reaching new heights is the company that the, this mention whole thing was funded by, run by 
one of the Wabimbis, I think it's Wabimbi Boo Bell. And what they do, what, you know, extensions that they add on to upgrade and make the Minton more interesting and really expand and really, you know, bring new things into it is what all the Mintons come to do. So, with the introduction of astrology, we are astrological now along with our customs and along with everything else that we have been doing. So all the Mentons are doing this, and on May 20th, 21st, and 22nd, um, those are the three days we're going to be heading over to the Menton headquarters, and we're all going to be presenting through presentation, through speaking, through, um, through a PowerPoint, and also bringing an object, um, a show-and-tell object that we find very, very close to our hearts, and that we part one of our indulgences, one of our pleasures. This really feels into the energy of Taurus, because Taurus is a sign that likes what is secure, what is, um, you know, what is known, um, and, you know, what, you know, hold, you know, grabs on to something, just holds on to it, it you know, doesn't like to get out of um, routine. So this really feels into it. And you probably did it when you were, you know, elementary, first or second grade or something. You know, we had, um, we did show and tell kind of thing. Yeah, this is what this is. Um, but it's a little bit more, you know, mature, I want to say. Um, yeah. Um, and if, uh, and I'll recommend to you Deborah Silverman Astrology is um, is a channel that you can go to, uh, and she um, she does a really really great job with she acts out all of the twelve zodiac signs and they're really really entertaining and they're funny, uh, and also the elements as well. And she does horoscopes with the sun, moon, and other planets. So at uh, anxiety videos with astrology. Um, so she does a lot of things, um, with, um, with that kind of thing. She does the plants additionally. So, now, one question that I'm going to ask you. So, did you go to the astro.com and put your in birth information in? Okay. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. You know, I don't expect, you know, everybody to do it, but... Um, just try to get around to it, and I'm just going to you know, kind of tell you that uh, maybe do it before this evening, so you have this afternoon to go and put your birth information in um, to the astro.com, name first and last, uh, gender, place that you were born, the day, day, month, year, and then uh, um, also the time to calculate the ascendant, uh, just so it's exactly precise. And if you don't know the time, then that's fine. But just do that and also print out the chart, um, so that, you know, I have a, um, just a printed coffee, coffee, uh, to look at for this evening. So this evening we'll be getting into... Our mentioned guest, Jill Burda's astrology. Okay. Um, we already know sun sign is in Leo. Leo. And this is not Leo season, so we won't delve too much into that. Um, but there will be a Leo club. Um, a clubus. A club and a class combined. Um, you know, when the time comes. So, that is something also, now, also, um, in a couple of days, on May 12, we're going to be heading over to the Verda's household, and we're going to be taking a tour, and we're going to be spending the afternoon there, uh, we're going to be arriving pretty close to lunchtime and spending, you know, the, most of the afternoon have dinner, and then we're going to leave, and we're going to tie frozen, um, um, you know, frozen aspects into, you know, you know, dance clubs. Additionally, we're going to be learning 
about dance, and also maybe watching some episodes of the Dance Mom seasons. So that's what's going to be happening with that. Um, uh, additionally, Kathy, who is not here right now, she's back in Ohio somewhere uh, in Canton with her studio because you know, she has to work on the groups for the Nationals. She will be coming here tomorrow. For those of you who are interested in doing the dancing and choreography for uh, the 